Welcome back folks, this is Shardun Gavande from Ace Knowledge and in this video we are gonna learn the types of classes which we have in a Java program. So let's start with our concept. So there are two types of classes in a Java program. The first one is our main class and the second one is our real class. So what are this exactly main and real class? So let's talk about the real class first. So you can have n number of real classes in a single Java program. So now what does this real class consist of? So this real class can have variables simply called as instance variable and methods, right? So variables and methods and under method you can have uh, a statement or simply the statements which you need to print when that method is being called. Just understand that real class will consist of variables and methods the same as, a, as any class may have, right? Talking about the main class now. So main class is so we can have only one main class in a Java program. So now the question arises why only one main class? Because whenever you execute your Java code or you run your Java code, who runs a Java code? It is the JVM, right? So JVM will always look for your main class, and under that main class we will have main method. So here you can see we have a main class and then we have main method which is public static void main so now this now why this method is named as public static void all this we will understand later in the further subsequent videos as of now we will only understand that main class is the only class which gets called whenever your java code is being run and jvm always looks for your main class for main method main class and under that main method right so now what exactly we will have we will have in this main class is to access the variables and methods of this real class, you need to create something called as objects. Because Java, which is purely object-oriented programming language, consists of classes and objects. So now we have seen classes. So regarding objects, we need to create those objects and it will be done in your inside your main method, right? So in, in your main method, you have to create those objects and use those objects to access the variables and methods of your real class right so now how to create these objects and access them again we will see we will have a different video for that fine so this uh, this was regarding the main class and you have to create objects in main method why because whenever jvm again the same thing whenever jvm runs your code it looks for main class and under that main method so obviously the method which gets called whenever your java program has been run is your main method right and then all those all the methods or uh, all the required stuff gets called or gets executed so two types of classes main class and real class in java program we have only one main class not more than one main class and we can have real classes n number of real classes so one main class and multiple real classes that's it from this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.